Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 41 of RB Plays FTV's Revelation Pack. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world. We're doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thank you so much for, uh, for stopping by. If this is your first time here, uh, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Get notified every time we go live. Well, not really live, because we do that on Twitch on Mondays, or I'm sorry, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But every time we put new content up on the channel, get notified that uh, that, that content is coming out. So I've been, uh, I've been working here uh, around the temple uh, with Sir Mines a lot, uh, and he's been doing a splendid job um, trying to get the the land around. Did I get that? Yeah, uh, trying to get the land around the uh, the temple, the mob spawner temple, um, to uh, you know get it down to the to the area that I want it to be for the bridge that goes in between. I'm gonna get this guy set up uh, to do a little bit more mining. We're gonna set him up right here so you can go there. And I want you, Mr. Mines a lot, to go there. And then we need to find out how much space he's going to do. So um, <clears throat> that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 6, 27, 28. Eh, let's call it 20. Let's call it 30. Let's call it 30 wide by <coughs> uh, 30 wide by how many uh, how many deep do we want to go here? So this is yeah, okay. So we'll call that one chunk so that's 16 32 we'll call it 32 plus this little bit right here so uh so one two three four five six 38 and then probably what 17 tall so 64 you want to get up to here 80 so that's 16 yeah 17 we'll say 17 tall so in case you guys haven't seen me do this before, we just do mine, uh, enter. Uh, what length did we want? We wanted 36. So the length is the out in front of us. So 36, no, 38, because it was two chunks plus six. So 38, uh, width we said was uh, 30, and then, uh, and then height we were going to go 17. And we do that inverted, yes, because we want him to dig from his level up. So he's going to take away all this hill, so yes. Uh, need more fuel. Wow, need a lot more fuel. So get me my uh, ender tank. Yes, please. And some buckets. I should have some buckets in here. I do. Sweet. I have the buckets. I have the buckets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. So you can jump in there like that. Yes, please. And so can you. Yes, please. And so can you. Yes, please. We just fill him up with lava until we get to uh, 10,000, uh, well, essentially 10 buckets, which we should be getting there pretty close, like. One more bucket will do. And ready? Go. Okay, so he's going to start mining. He's going to dig straight out that way. He's going to dig up. And he's going to make all of this land right in here go away for us, which will be amazing. And it'll probably get rid of some of those trees, too, which won't hurt. Uh, well, it might hurt a little. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyhow, so last episode when we were together, we worked with a little bit of Thom, a uh, little bit of Thomcraft. We are working towards uh, getting our Everfull Urn, right? We want the Everfull Urn so that we can keep our Batania uh, Petal Apothecary full. There's very few ways to do that automatically, right? So... Uh, so by doing it, uh, by getting the Everfull urn, it will constantly put water into this. And there has not been any water added to this since uh, since we did the since we took the water out of it yesterday with the last uh, endo flame that we made. So today I think we can handle that. And also we have enough stuff that we can upgrade our 
uh, solar array to tier three. So I'm going to try to do that as well. Uh, but I do want to get the Batania stuff, or I'm sorry, the Thomcraft stuff done first. So in order to make uh, the Everfull Urn, there's a couple of things that we got to finish. We got to finish this alchemy section, this hedge alchemy. So basically what this is, is, is duplicating all of the things. Like how did I get, how did I get those? I don't know how I got those. It says they're checked off, but I, I mean, they were checked off when I first opened the books. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we gotta do, we gotta duplicate an ink sac and we have to duplicate some glowstone. The ink sac, you need two aqua, you need two bestia, and you need five census. So let's see what we gotta have to do that. So bestia, bestia. In order to get bestia, you uh, you just go through here, and we don't need much. It said we needed what two of two bestia. So what do we got that we can get two bestia out of, or even one and do it twice? You know, uh, nothing there, nothing there. There, I want to say that you should be able to get bestia out of like meat and feathers and stuff like that, but I might be wrong. It's fermented spider eyes. How about regular spider eyes? Because we have a lot of those. Spider eyes. Yes, please. Uses for spider eyes. In Thomcraft. You do get bestia from it. Okay. And you get five bestia. So that's a good way for us to exhibit what we do with these uh, with these crystal shards, right? There are these uh, quartz, crystal, quartz shards. Quartz shards. These guys. So give me a spider eye. Give me a spider eye, if you'd be so kind, yes, please. Uh, then we also needed to have, in order to make the uh, the ink sack, we needed aqua. We can get aqua from the crystals. So let's get the uh, aqua crystals. Yeah, that would be these. And I think one is two crystals, I think. Uh, page down. That's uses, yep. Uh, nope, that's just one. Okay, so we just need two of those. That's fair enough. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. Uh, and then the other thing that we needed was uh, census. So to get census, let's find out what we got to do to get census. Uh, S-E-N-S-U-S. -S -S. Census. We can get census from something around the five level. We'll probably be fine. Wait, what's that? Was that, uh, so we can get it from dyes. We can get it from floral powder, cool. What else can we get it from? Easy peasy, you know? Wool, we can get census from wool? Okay, can I get two census from wool? Oh wait, how many census did I need? Wasn't that more? It's five, Ugh. Okay, so we need five, of, we need five from wool, okay. All right, well that's fine, we can do this. So five, what's gonna give me about five? Uh, lapis lazuli dust. What about lapis? Lapis gives me five exactly. So give me a piece of lapis. Uh, L-A-P-I-S, lapis, lapis, lazuli. And then uh, the other thing that we needed was an ink sack. Do I have an ink sack? I should have some. I do have some ink sacks, yay. So there's that. And now if we come out here and we do this, plus these, plus this, plus that, yay, and then put these in there. See how we got new crystals? We got some desiderium, some desiderium, 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 terra, and census crystals, which is cool, uh, but we also got uh, two ink sacs. So now if we come back in the book and look at that, that should be checked off. So the way we got to do that one more time with glowstone. Glowstone is Lux and Census. Uh, so that's easy peasy. So give me another piece of lapis. Because lapis was five exactly. So that's perfect. And then we needed uh, some torches. Torches were five each. Are they five each? Let's find out. So torches in Thomcraft are one torches are one oh wait though that's bestia uh torches are one are five lux okay so we need how much lux we needed 10 so we do need two torches cool all right that's easy enough so now we can just put that in here like this um do that do 
do that. Oh crap, I don't have any glowstone. No. You gotta do this fast. Because you don't want to lose. There we go. I think we got it. All right? And let's put some of these quartz crystals in here. That I don't think I got back. I did. There we go. And that gets rid of all of the extra essentia and hopefully makes it so we don't put a lot of flux in the environment. I did move my Thomcraft stuff over here a little bit closer to the um, to the Batania base because I think in here, I think I want to do something in here. So it's water surrounding and everything like that. I want to make like a little grotto here, right? A little, you know, just a little inset place where we can do some candles, maybe some, maybe some skulls, you know, uh, and, and kind of tie that witchcrafty thing in with what we're trying to do here. Not sure how well I'm going to be able to pull that off, but we'll see. So that should <coughs> should pull all this off. Hey, yep, that's complete. Nice. So now, oh, we're not done yet? Oh, no. What do we got to do now? No? Oh, we got to make, oh, we got to do cobwebs and lava buckets. Are you kidding me? Cobwebs need vinculum. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so vinculum. Uh, vinculum. What can we get for vinculum? Uh, trapped chest. Potions. Do we have any potions? Do I have any potions? Let's see if I have any potions. I should have some potions. I have a potion of healing. Does that have vinculum on it? It should got aqua it's got herbia it does not have vinculum on it no okay fine be that way I'll put you away I'm gonna put you and you and you away uh, oh and I also have one of you bestia crystal uh, I'll put you away all right let me do some research and I will get the stuff put together that we're gonna need to make these next two things and I will come back to you in a minute Okay, I think I'm ready to do this. Uh, so if we take one amber ore and then two string, that should give us the cobwebs, yeah. And then if we take two coal and some cobblestone and a bucket, we should get lava. And then we wanna get rid of all the extra stuff in there. So that takes care of that. Uh, we need some more water. Water would be good. Where's my, there it is. You bubbling yet? Yes, you kind of are. And then put some more of these quartz crystals in there because I'm sure there's more stuff in there. Yeah, there was. That takes care of that. Okay, so now that should cross off another section in the book. Yes, please. Complete. I think we're done. Yes, so now we can do the Everfull Urn. Complete that. That should give us the recipe for the Everfull Urn, which is right here. So that is a clay pot with 30 aqua 10 Fabrico, and 10 Terra. All right, let me do some research and find out what all components we're going to get. I know we can get Terra from, like, cobblestone. I know we can get Aqua from several different things. But let me look and see what we got to do to get Fabrico, and I'll come back to you guys in just a minute. Okay, so in order to, in order to pull this off, we need a, a, a clay pot, which we need bricks for those. So let's go ahead and get that, uh, and then get those brick and put them into a crafting bench, and that will give us a clay pot, right? One, two, three, yes, please, so clay pot. And then I also, I found out that we have enough Terra crystals, so we can just do the 10 there, and also enough aqua crystals, so we can just get our aqua and Terra from the crystals. And then wooden shovels, any shovel really, will give you Fabrico, uh, any tool will give you Fabrico. So, um, <clears throat> why am I walking? We can just do this. Um, so we can use all of those uh, to get us our ever full urn, right? So ever full urn is gonna be this. We're gonna put you guys in there, and you guys in there, and one of you, two of you, three of you, and one of you. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Crap. Okay, um, give me all that back. That was bad. Like, why did that not work? Oh, 
baby. We have a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of we have a lot of stuff. Uh, quartz. I want to get as much of it out of the air as I can. Okay, I think we got it all now. Um, that was weird. So wait, hold on. Ever full urn? Did I get that? Did I get my numbers wrong? I might have got my numbers wrong. So let's take a look at the ever full urn one more time. So it needs ten terra, thirty aqua, and ten fabrico. Right? I don't understand. I don't understand why we uh, why we didn't get that because. Each shovel was four, so three times four is 12, so that should have been plenty of that. All right, well, all right, let's try this again. So we needed Terra. We need 10 of you. Wait, what is that? Oh, I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage because, oops. Well, anyway, we got 10 of those. We got some of those. We're going to need, what, 10 more of those? Put those away, put those away. We're gonna need that, oh, we're gonna need another clay pot. Um, crap, all right, fine, clay. That was a clay pot, right? Flower pot, yeah. And that, yeah, that's a flower pot. And 10 for Brico. Okay, well, I guess shovels. One. Two. Just need some more wood. Just craft me up some oak planks here, I guess. And then do a shovel. Like, I don't understand why that didn't work. Uh, aqua. Just need ten more of you. Right? And that should be everything that you need, right? To make the ever full urn, you need a flower pot. You need that is 30 aqua, right? So 30 aqua, 10 fabrico, and 10 terra. I'm so confused as to why that didn't work. Okay, flower pot acquired, but I think I know what that problem is. Um, in order to be able to use things from Thalmcraft, you have to know what they are, right? So I have fabrico on this, right? Oh wait, that's not Fabrico. Is that Fabrico? That's not Fabrico. Wait a minute, Fabrico. Maybe that might be my, that might be part of my problem. Um, what can I get? What can I use to get Fabrico? Can I use something? Oh wait, what's that? We can use crafting station. We have those. Crafting station. Crafting station. Yes, please. So how many Fabrico does that have though? So that that has 15 that's plenty that should be enough okay let's try this one more time so if we do this plus these plus these plus that there it is there's our ever full urn do i have any more quartz slivers no crap i don't have enough quartz slivers Try this one more time. Okay, I think we got it. But now we have the ever full urn, right? So that was what my problem was. This is not, this is mechanic or whatever it is, whatever that, anyway, I did it wrong. I was stupid. Anyway, we drop this guy down right here. No, not that. Well, yeah, right there. If we drop him down right there. Check a look, take a look at what he's going to do. He's going to start spitting bubbles, right? And this it's going to start filling up. How about that? That's so cool, right? We'll move him over there for a second after this is full. And if we put that and this together, it should keep both of them full, right? So, well, hang on. Let's just do this. Grab this guy. And if we drop him down right over here, say there, does it fill him up? Does it fill him up? It does. Sweet. So now we've got a way to get water to that. That's super cool. All right. So now what I want to do 
Uh, let's do the let's play the scan all the things game. So ever full earn? Yes, please. I'm gonna scan you. Kind of learn something from you. And uh, let's go to the Wither Skeleton Farm because that's where we've got some pattern stuff set up. Uh, I want to get into the next tier of Solar Array, right? So let's see if we can make that happen before the end of this uh, the episode. Um, so Solar Array Tier Three. That is a tier one, that is a tier two, that is a tier one. So we need a tier three solar array, right? Tier three solar array. That requires chironite pavers or chironite blocks. So that's cool. Give me a recipe for, or give me a pattern for that. We're also going to need chironite blocks. Tier two, tier three, so chironite blocks. That'd be that. And then, oops, I guess I should have done this like this. So solar, and then here, yep, here, chironite solar cells. That requires an erodium cell along with those. We should know how to make all of that. Yep, there we go. So now we can come down here to our crafting manager, crafter manager. Let's put you there, let's put you there, and let's put you there. How about that? All right, so now let's get me a solar array of the tier three variety. Tier three, wait, nope, that's not it. That's it, nope, that's not it either, dang it. Tier one, tier two, tier three, there it is. Start, go. Sweet. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a tier three solar array. Now I got to figure out what all we need to go with it. Everything else should be auto craftable. Uh, so give me this guy and that will tell me how many different things it needs. <coughs> needs eight null modifiers, 32 structure frames of tier three or higher. So I need to take a rest, make a recipe for that. Uh, structure frames for tier three. Yes, please. So that's a tier two plus chironite and diamond. We need patterns. I think I have patterns. I just didn't put them in. Yeah, I didn't put them in here yet. So there's that. So that is a tier three solar array. We'll put that in here. I'm going to go ahead and get this started auto crafting all of this stuff. And I'll be back in a minute. And now we wait and play the craft all the things game. Should be a fun time. Well, up, up and away. Here we go. This should be everything now. Crafting finished. Place this guy right here. Oh no. Place this guy right there. Yeah. And then come down here. Oh, oh crap. Fall down. Why don't you? If we come right here, we should be able to do all of the things from right here. Just clicky, clicky, clicky away with the assembler. And eventually, it should all get put together. The crafting on that wasn't bad because it, you know, auto crafting makes it super easy anyway. Uh, what is, oh, of course we put it together in the middle of a flipping, it, rah, curse you solar eclipse, curse you. Um, anyway, food, food would be good. Let's find out how much power this sucker is going to make here in a second. We might be able to see now. I don't know. Um, no, he's not making any power right now because of the stinking solar eclipse, which I think, is it almost over or is it almost full? Is it waxing or waning? I wonder. That's waxing. It's waning. It's waning. Waxing means coming in, waning means not. Uh, so, oh, power falling drastically. <laughs> so you're going to start working then? There we go. Making 15, 16, 17. Is it making 17,000 RF a tick? No. How much is it making? I don't even know. Oh, whatever it did, it's stored up quick now. So this will store two and a half million RF. I have no idea how much he just produced in, uh, in that short period of time. Does it say? It should say, shouldn't it? 
it doesn't say. But we're making power, right? We're making lots more power now, which is cool. I can't wait to get this up to the next higher levels because that ought to be awesome. But anyway, folks, I think that's going to do it for today because we are sadly out of time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Uh, don't forget that I mentioned something to you all in the last episode. I know it's that episode just went up, and so I'm a little ahead of the game here, but don't forget that I need some comments on Batania. Um, one thing that I need in particular is... Is there a way to measure the mana in a mana pool that does not require the use of a comparator, like some kind of fluid monitor or something like that from uh, from Batania itself or any other mod? Because I need to be able to do that. Because of how I want to uh, put the mana pools in place, I need to be able to monitor the, uh, the amount of mana in those pools. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.